WHCR 90.3 FM, New York. Ah, the morning. And such a sweet morning. It certainly is. I'm just so, so happy that we're doing sweet morning here at WHCR, Harlem Community Radio. A little sweetness and love and healing and, ha, ah, marvelous. One of my favorite singers in the whole world is in the studio with me this morning. So I'm going to introduce him in a little bit, in a minute or two, as I get my little musical selections kind of lined up so we can revel in the the joy of the sound and uh, well here we are gardens of tranquility and contemplation at WHCR 90.3 FM and all over the world at WHCR.org and so um, Fear Beast and D.D. Pa and uh, No Chill Josh and Let's see who else. Um, 44 Joey, Indie Soccer Nation. <laughs> John Smith, 8105, 8105. Uh, Arctic, Arctica, Ar- no, Arctic Cats, 5650, and Jill P. Thanks for being in our chat living room. I know you guys are all over the world and uh, I just want you to like us a couple of people have liked us here and um, you can like us too and drop me a little note there while you're chatting and let me know what country you're viewing from we're streaming thanks to streaming university and it is it's a really special experience and it's it's Didi Pa who makes it happen, Mr. Digital Divide Pa. Thank you. Thank you, my goodness. Yes, indeed. (laughs) Bring up a little bit more Onaje. Alan Gums, his partner, uh, Norman Connors, is going to be at the Red Rooster tonight, and uh, he'll be with us a little later on, around 10-ish or so. All right, here it is. Sweet as it can be.
WHCR 90.3 FM, New York. Skin or clothes. I long to know you love the way the water knows your every pool. I long to know you, baby, and give you love that will endure. I hope through disappointment, I search through time and space. I traveled all undaunted, knowing I'd recognize your face. You're someone who'd accept me, whose love I could return. This search for you has kept me alone for only you I yearn. My deepest thoughts I'll show you. How I long to know you. I long to know you love. The way the sun bathes you with light. I long to know you, baby. I want your eyes to give me sight. I long to know you love. That life flows through your veins. I need to know, darling, in such a way I can't explain. I happen to behold you out of the heavens clear, as if someone had told you that I was waiting here. At long last, you have found me, the answer to my prayer. Your purest love surrounds me. Is it more than I can bear? My strongest love I'll show you. How I long to know you. Ooh, love. Love. I long to know you. I'm not 
Well, I imagine that this is one of the best ways to uh, to open this conversation with Mr. Ty Stevens, who's in the studio with me, and I played two of his beautiful songs back to back. And 
I am so glad to have you here with me. Ty, thank you. It's a, it's, it's, it's a marvelous experience hearing your voice and listening to the words. They're elegant, gracious, and they're just at a different level. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> it's great to be here. Thank you for having me back. Oh, my pleasure. You know, my plan was to have you as my guest host mm -hmm. and just, you know, tell stories. So I just, I don't want to just, you know, interview you. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to feel at home. Well, I, so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. We're here for a special occasion. Mm-hmm. Very special. Long awaited you know yeah yes. finally have the cd done oh my god <laughs> i gotta give you a round of applause thank you thank you dear brother you thank you me. did it you and soul jazz mm -hmm. you know the last time you talked we we saw you off to japan yes <laughs> and i'm leaving in, a, in in less than 24 hours for korea <laughs> oh my god that's absolutely incredible yeah and, just a week uh, though just a week? Yeah. Oh, good. Japan good. So was four months. My Actually, goodness. five total. But but the, the amazing thing, I could imagine you in Japan, and I could imagine you, as you described, being um, having a space where you could write, mm -hmm. a space for quiet, yeah. you know, and reflection. Mm -hmm. And uh, that must have been very special. It's, it's always good. And it, it, because Japan has such an atmosphere of calm, you know, of, of order, and of grace, you know, it makes it makes the whole flow a lot easier, you know. I can't say that I wrote any particular gem this time, but I know I was able to write. <laughs> You've written so many gems. Thank you. Yeah, you are, you're you're a, a very gifted songwriter, and it it does speak of your um, the gift that you have as a metaphysician. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad mm -hmm. because the words are healing. Yeah, and you know. I believe in the power of the word. Oh. Yes, because the word the word is healing if we use it correctly, and we do. We do. <laughs> well, you and I do. That's, that's the way I'm talking and about. Our, and our family who <laughs> mm -hmm. is with us in the audience does, and, and our listeners, we've just increased our, our chat living room with folks. The living room is growing yeah, exponentially. Good, good. good morning, everybody. Yeah, good morning, you guys. <laughs> you know, Dollars Make Sense is watching, and, and Danny O. M. is is in the house, and uh, Horst in, and I, I, get, I guess I've got some folks from Germany and some folks from New Zealand and, oh, wow. and uh, wow. yeah, in the UK, mm -hmm. and, um, and I want to welcome all of you, uh, and those from Brooklyn and Jersey. And yeah, <laughs> in the house. In the house all over the country <laughs> and all over the world here in the Gardens of Tranquility and Contemplation. Wonderful. How, f how much fun, you know, but uh, we were talking about those words and mm -hmm. We do share that the words are healing, and there's a story behind your commitment to do that, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to make your songwriting filled with words that give power and give life. Yeah, it's because that's what I received. You know, growing up in the 70s, in especially, I'd say even especially on the East Coast, I don't know what that had to do with anything, but something about where I grew up in Philadelphia and the music that I heard on WDAS. I gotta give him a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, the time the time really was was um I guess it was it was ripe with with with, with consciousness. We were just coming out of the major part of the civil rights, you know, Dr. King had just passed mm -hmm. a, only a few years before. Oh. And um uh, you know, so all the music had some kind of message to it, even though it was it was secular music. It wasn't we didn't have to turn on the radio on Sunday just to hear something good, you know, just to hear, you know, uh, positive, uplifting words. That's right. It was in it was in everybody's music. Stevie, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Shaka. I mean, all the people I listen to, <laughs> which is like everybody. Gene Carn. Gene Carn. Doug and Gene Carn. Doug and Oh, <laughs> Infinite. Don't start me. Don't start me now. <laughs> that was our national anthem. Was it? <laughs> it oh, was. my God. Infinite. Oh. The it, honor of the 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 the. Uh, the honor to love your child, mm -hmm. to see um, a heavenly future for oh your my child, God, yeah. 
Infinize, oh yeah, that was our that was our anthem. That I was get it. Dad. I get it totally. I get it totally. It just <laughs> it fills me just thinking about it because it was just so powerful. And you know, I think there was one DJ that used to play it like as a theme. Oh. I can't remember. It, it Maybe a morning, like his, yeah. his opening theme or something in the morning. I can't remember for I sure. I think that must have been right. Yeah. You know, because I. I caught on to it uh-huh. and I never let it go yeah and so now I'm one of the the few broadcast journalists who who plays it here and because it's consistent basis oh yeah yeah you know? yeah well she deserves it and so, so the, their music deserves it you know and um man I, I my mind is floating into into all those things I listened to when I was growing up you and know you, you're free to talk about it oh good good this, good this is home because you started off with some John Lucien and John Lucien was one of the biggest influences of my writing career especially, and even my singing career, because his style of singing was um, something to be studied. You know, he, it was clear. He was clear, you know, even though he had an accent, it didn't matter, because you didn't hear the accent, you heard the, the color. You know, the, the accent didn't, didn't distort the words to the point where he's like, what is he saying? I understood every word he said, and he said it from another place, so that it was like watching him paint. I learned something about you recently, just looking online and trying to get a a good sense of, 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 you know, what it was we were doing here together. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you come here as a guest host for the gardens, what that brings to the family. And I understood that there was an influence from another colorist named Nat King Cole. Oh, absolutely. What and color? You're talking color? That's color. That's chocolate. That's delicious chocolate. My God. <laughs> I mean, chocolate mousse and yes, ganache and, and the whole oh, gamut. That's right. Yeah, and another one who's who's. Uh... <laughs> but before we go on, uh-huh. I do want to go back to John Lucien. Okay. And what a pleasure and a privilege to play Luella oh. from that album mm-hmm. and give you the opportunity to introduce our special guest in the house. Sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah, and if you when those of you who are audiophiles like. I try to be. <laughs> if you read your liner notes like I do, which I value, and that's why the CD format kind of bugs me a little bit because it's hard to read that that's stuff. That's right. And now that we've gone digital, people don't even read anything unless they go online to find it. So, long story short, um, John Lucien was introduced to me back in the 70s by a good friend of mine named Harvey Fisher. And the, by the way, his, he's black. <laughs> Harvey <laughs> Fisher sounds like a white person. But <laughs> I saw the C in the Fisher, right? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> So, long story. I, I'm still making a, 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 a short story long. Um, I met a person recently who has now become my manager. And um, uh, his credits are just so vast. And and you know how you just want to validate what somebody says? Yes. And, you know, you hear them say, well, I've done this and I've done that. And I went to my album collection. <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs> album. It's called Vinyl. And it's giant size so that you can read the print and you can enjoy the artwork. And I'm looking down down the credits and I see this man's name and I'm like, okay. If I didn't believe before, I really do now. He's the real deal. His name is Buzz Willis. Wow. And uh, he, did you sign John? He signed John Lucien. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, what, that was enough for me to say, okay, whatever you want. Because John Lucien gave me so much in his music, you know, in terms of, uh, content and style of writing, style of singing, and the whole Caribbean experience and the, the heaven that he created on vinyl. You know, he created, or not cre- 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 he didn't create it, he recreated it because it already exists. I'm going metaphysical on you. But <laughs> oh, it's good. That's where we live. <laughs> That's where good we live. Good morning to to Michael Bernard Beckwith and to uh, uh, Bishop Xavier, yes. uh, Aaron Cotter. Yes, and yes. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. indeed. And the Michael's whole family. A of mine too. Is Michael a friend? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Michael and Michael, his wife. And Ricky. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky Beebe. Ricky, Ricky's my old friend from back here in Harlem. We used to write um, demos together. Well, actually, they did the writing. She and her ex-husband, um, Ron Muldrow, mm-hmm. did the writing. I was the voice of their demos Jeez. for, you know, like there's like dance uh, house kind of music from their Which early Which is coming 80s. back, you know. Yeah, yeah. So Bam. I think some of the stuff that we did make it may well come back. We were, <laughs> we were a group called Chemise. Don't ask me Spell why. Spell it. C-H-E-M-I-S-A-I-S-E, which means shirt in French. I knew it was a French <laughs> word for clothing. Yeah. You know, uh, sometimes <laughs> folks don't do their research and I'm like, why are we called chemise? <laughs> Because it sounds good, you know. <laughs> but it's all good. It's good all morning, good. Buzz. Good morning. 
Buzz Willis, you're going to talk right into, you can put your headphones on too. I think I adjusted it so that it's not harmful to your your ears, <laughs> to the, 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 the sound and the decibel, mm-hmm. you know, and and um, my co-host here, you're going to adjust his microphone so okay. it's We're really nice and close like to that? him. That's right. good. Yeah. So he Stand doesn't have to in. make any effort uh-huh. in saying good morning to us. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Buzzy Willis. Mm-hmm. Well, needless to say, <laughs> this is a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pleasure. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. This is, it's so very special to have you join us today, you know, to, you know, it's very interesting listening to the two of you because you, I'm a um, a fan and you all are musician and uh, producer, executive producer. Mm-hmm. And so you all validate what we, the fans, experience. Mm-hmm. We're having an ethereal experience of colors and loveliness and uplift and something so deep and so precious. But then to know that you recognize this and you study this, and Buzzy, you hear it, you know what it is, you sign it. And then you bring in the strings and put it together. Yeah, and yeah. you know, the marketing, because it, 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 uh, it fills a soul. Not only a stadium, mm-hmm. it fills a soul. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's why Ty Stevens is here. Because <laughs> we, we would like to fill a stadium <laughs> for, yeah. for your music. We sure would. <laughs> and we hope that you will come out and support us whenever you hear we're performing yeah. somewhere. That's right. So now how did you come to sign John Lucien for the magical Rashida? Well, <clears throat> the very interesting gentleman by the name of Bo Ray Fleming was the one that told me about it. And he, he was, God rest his dead, Bo Ray passed away on us. But Bo is one of those insistent kind of people. And he called my He'd call my office or anytime he'd see me at a fair, I got this guy, man. I got this guy, man. I said, Bo. He said, man, he, he, I don't know what he is. <laughs> so I said, what is, how do you expect me to recognize what you're saying if you don't know what he is? Isn't <laughs> so he'd, he'd keep on. Every time he'd see me, don't care where, because in, in the day, as they said, there was a collective area where normally you could see everybody. And, and on Broadway, and there was about four buildings that really housed the entire music business from the publishing standpoint and also just the, the writing standpoint and everything else. And it was 1650 Broadway, 1697 Broadway, and 1619 Broadway. And then it was one more. But that was collective, like some from 49th Street to 55th Street, these buildings were. And the whole industry revolved, especially from the independent side, with these buildings. And Bo was a frequenter <laughs> of all of these buildings. <laughs> from he, building to from building. Building to building. They'd go <laughs> and write this song, pick up a check at the end of the week, whatever, whatever, for pub- from the publishing houses and everything else. And he met John, and he said John was a fantastic talent. And Bo was a great salesman. But he just bothered me. Then he'd get to my secretary, and, and he said, "You tell him that he gotta go see this guy." Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so she one day she said, that, "Bo, that too much. He said, go see this man." I said, "Fine." So I saw him. I said, "Bo, it is different." And one of the things that did attract me to him, which had nothing to do with his music, was the fact that he was from the Caribbean. Mm. Oh, and, and my history is from the Caribbean. My mother and father was Jamaican. Oh, is that right? right? So the thing is that that gave me that extra incentive. Beautiful. So I met him, we talked, and I said, he's a good brother. And then when I heard the music, I said, okay, I'm going to take a shot. So needless to say, I'm with a company called RCA, and they, they didn't understand what, what this was. <laughs> <laughs> so no, first thing some of the promotional people said, you know, and who happened to be the, on the pop side, said, where are we going to get this play? Mm. This is jazz, and there's no real big money. I said, it's not jazz. It's going to be a lot of things. Okay, and when we have to do the job. <laughs> you know, <we laughs> doubted, had to doubt it with the arms crossed. Mm-hmm. The rest is history. 
and I didn't. I took it out of their hands, and I dealt with my people. And we got it played in the local areas. And God rest the dead. It was a station at that time. Well, BLS was really BLS, and uh, WLIB was a station. Mm -hmm. And they were in the Hotel Teresa. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. And I took it to uh, my good friend Jack Walker. Wow. And Hal and all the all and the guys. Hal and Jackson. Yeah, and, all the guys. <laughs> and they said they played, and the rest is history. Wow. And then down, down in the your area, I got to Georgia Woods mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what's his name? Jimmy Bishop. Jimmy Bishop, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And wow. These were all my friends. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they started to play it for me. Mm -hmm. And then we spread it. And, 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 and you had, there was a, a area of music that you had to get your music played. And that corridor was from Washington up to New York. If you could get your record started in that corridor, then it would spread, it would spread around the country because that was a very significant sales corridor for music, okay? And so you had, you know, HUR down in Howard University. Yep. Mm -hmm. Great station. And uh, again, and, and then Jocko Henderson, mm -hmm. okay, was do, working in New York and Philadelphia. Really? He, oh, yeah, he, he was on two stations. Jocko. Yeah, Jocko. <laughs> And so the all, legend. Yeah, legend. all of these guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they, in, in those days, you, 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 you get a favor, and th at some point they say, I, I want them to come to do my show at so-and-so. But they'd have some show somewhere, and that was how you, it was reciprocal. Mm -hmm. You know, they'd play the music, and if they wanted them for a show, you'd put John in the station wagon, him and his group, and go play for Jocko. Okay, Jocko, whatever. And, that, and, it, and it worked, you know. Oh boy, and did it uh, work! Let yeah. me tell you that yeah. Rashida. Yeah. Oh, oh but please! See, the music transcends a lot of things. People don't understand. But once you get, you can, you, you, you can't. It's just like, proverbially, you can never stop a, uh, avalanche. Okay, that, that's what history says that you can't. Okay, and the man has not figured out how to stop an avalanche. <laughs> it's, it's when it starts, it keeps on going. Same thing like music. Once you get it exposed, the same people who didn't hear it before now hear it because it's exposed, okay? And then the consistency of you hearing it makes you understand the significance of what it is. And John was a unique talent, okay? Just like we feel tired, tired, okay? A unique kind of talent. Yeah, just like we feel tired. Yeah. Well, thank you again. Yeah. You know, Ty, Ty Stevens. How did you meet Ty Stevens? Long story. <laughs> but, but I'll make it short. Baby. Really <laughs> Neither of us know how to make a story short. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I do long for it. Uh, okay. okay, so y'all are welcome. Okay. <laughs> short story. Ty, I have a friend by the, that's a friend of Ty's also by the name of Orion Johnson. Mm. Orion cons consistently for about a month they'd ask me to go listen to this guy, wherever he'd be. I said, man, I, he said, man, he's this, he's that. And I said, fine, okay, all right, I'm going to get there. <laughs> and but he became just like Bo Ray, okay? He just kept on. <laughs> and I said, fine. So I finally went to a club that's like our home base that we work out of now in, in Montclair, New Jersey, called Trumpet. Yes, the famous yeah, Trumpets. Trumpets yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> got to give them a plug because yep. they're, that's they're, right. yeah, they're Christina and Enrico, that's the owner. Yes. And um, they've been, they, like I said, that's our home base. Yes, yes. And so we, he, he was there. So I went and I said, okay, Orion, you got a point. <laughs> okay, a that point. Was, yeah, no, no, and that's how I referred to it. I remember uh -huh. clearly. I said, you got a point, man. The, he is one. And then I, I wanted to find out. Then for me, I have to talk to the person. I have to, in, in my own way, interview them. Yes. And he said, man, it, it, all he needs is somebody like you and, and what you're trying to do. And I said, you know, well, I know. First of all, I have a partner by the name of Robert Bell. Oh. Okay. Better known to, <laughs> to the world as Cool of Cool in the Gang. Oh, my. Yeah. Yay. Okay. <laughs> That's and your partner. Yeah, been my partner for 30 years. Oh, my goodness. So um, Robert and I... <laughs> <laughs> Robert is a man of few words. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, right. He's very f few, few words. Mm. And he had just come back from Japan. And Ty was going to play the Blue Note in New York that next Monday. So I said, cool, you got to see this guy. 
and normally like tries to take a couple of days or whatever because you know he, they're on the road consistently yeah okay so he said where is it i said we gotta go to new york i see that blue note he said we're fine i said, I said you got it so he un he understood the urgency in my voice yes. and he said yes. i'm coming yes. Yes. so we went to the blue note and ty performed that night to a foreign audience because blue note you know pulls all kinds of people oh yes and because it's a famous club worldwide so the tourists come in from uh, all over and want and come to the blue note mm -hmm. Some of them can't even speak English, but again, music transcends all of that. Right. So they sat there, place was packed, a mixture of people from all over, and they gave him a standing ovation at the end of the night. <laughs> not, not, not at least a five minute standing ovation. Okay. So me now, I'm 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 more enthused now than ever because oh. I know these people. They they understand the music. But they never heard of him in their life, and they give this man a standing ovation, a real standing ovation. It wasn't prompted by nobody. They got up and just went off. So cool, like I said, a man of few words <laughs> turned to me and said, uh, we got this one, right? <laughs> 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 and I said, that's why I wanted you to see it. <laughs> okay. I'm so proud. Anyway, and, I'm so proud. It's, and this you is know. our... This, Cause we had no no uh, uh, how can I say it, to be very honest with you and and Ty too, we had no thoughts in our mind to manage anybody. To be very honest, you know, we we cause we were focusing on events because we do events around the world, and um, so that's where well, our that's, focus that's was. That's very nice. So very this nice was, to know. This was like <laughs> a God sent thing for yes. us to to, yes. to generate our interest that way. And that night I told him, I said, T, I said, I can't tell you, I can't give you no balloons or whatever, whatever, <laughs> but, but we're in the position that we can't help. Mm -hmm. And we, that's it. I said, can't promise you, you know, nothing, no more than that. And based on, thank God, him and I, it's like close to 100 years of experience in this, running through this game. Yes. And yes. Uh, we feel we got a shot with him. And, and well, we, you know, we, we have such find um, such a deep abiding appreciation for your legacy, what it is that you have done, um, your ability to identify something that means so much to an audience, to a listener, and now to a viewer. Uh, I just really, I underestimated these things throughout my life listening to Frankie Crocker mm. and just, you know, just being wrapped in the music, um, listening. My parents played Kind of Blue. And so even though it was my daddy's album, I took it and I made it my own. <laughs> 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 you know, and the jazz and all. And then the jazz music that came about and all of these foundations that give a platform to a beautiful singer. It's, um, and more than that, it's, you know, not only to the singing, but the inspiration for songwriting. Mm -hmm. It's so powerful, it's so meaningful, and it so enriches our lives around the world. It really does. Uh, it is a privilege to be in this position, to be able to welcome you all, give you all a place in the gardens mm -hmm. of tranquility, and to go to do as much as I can to support other people around the world hearing this and you know being able to attend events that you can do around the world and my list of chat living room folks is growing <laughs> yeah, exponentially we like that we like that you, Hi, know, folks. you guys I'm so glad now let's see uh Oh, yes. Okay. And my technician, Mr. D.D. Pa, um, has a request. And in my excitement this morning, I have neglected to really put you all in the spots that you need to be in. Mm. So we have to um, take a moment. Mm -hmm. We are here, family, to debut Ty Stevens' new CD. He released some years ago the one track that took hold 
and then over the years collected, you know, the the the, the coins, the donations, oh, the contributions, yeah. the support mm -hmm. to make it possible to make this album and to uh, give Buzzy some something to do all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Ty Stevens and Soul Jazz. Yeah. And, and I want to play this track for you uh, while we reposition our chairs oh, and our mm -hmm. mics for the camera. Okay. Uh, thank you for letting me do this. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. You know, to, to the world, to the family, good medicine. That's what our love is for you. Tonight a sweet love let up now baby Good luck. 
Let's give that a round of some applause. Yay! I'm good with that. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank now you. you get to tell the story of this album. Yeah. <laughs> well, as you stated earlier, it was a long process. <clears throat> and only because it's independently produced, like all of our previous CDs. Um, and the money coming out of one's own pocket has to go in, in several places. So when uh, the rent, or I, well, in my case, in, when the mortgage had to be paid, <laughs> uh -oh. I couldn't go in the studio. So there were blocks of time that maybe close to a year sometimes we wouldn't be back in the studio to finish whatever track or tracks we had been working on. But um, thank God for crowdfunding. I found out about crowdfunding online. And I started with, with Kickstarter. I did two Kickstarter campaigns. And um, not to knock kiss Kickstarter, but the problem for us was that if you do not raise the money that you are intending to raise, you don't get it. <laughs> you <laughs> it don't goes, get any of no, you, it. It goes back to the contributors, which is a wonderful uh, fail-safe for them, but it means that you, you, don't, you can't use the funds. So um, then we moved over to... Um, Indiegogo. Indi in, no, we didn't do Indiegogo. We did the other one. Um, GoFundMe. GoFundMe. We okay. went to GoFundMe, and that's where we were able to raise enough money to finish off the album. Uh, so it's still the majority of the funds that went into the album are my own. Um, but to get to those you know, finishing points and, and uh, mixing and mastering and, and manufacturing, all that stuff, had to come from other sources. And thank God for them. And I, I appreciate all of you who are listening and who sent in your contributions and continue to support us. I cannot thank you enough. Every single one of you and us and um, a, a special note to someone who found you, fell in love with you, supported you, Aquia Weeks, who oh. our sister passed away. Oh. And uh, we, we love her. She was a big fan of this show. Yeah. She was a wonderful musical um, lover, singer in her own right, yep. graduate of Howard University, yes, Aquia. Mm -hmm. Aquia Weeks walks with us in spirit because she is an ancestor that's now. That's right, that's right. And uh, I'm really privileged to receive my gifts. <laughs> Thank you. And to, to receive this beautiful CD. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Good medicine. And soul jazz. Tell me about these brothers. Well, let's see. We've been <laughs> a, a unit, this particular unit. I've had always... Uh, when, when I when I perform, I always have a regular group of guys, mm -hmm. and I, at some point I felt like I needed a name for them, and so the first name that we had was Romanticy. Now Romanticy came out of my songwriting. Um, I had joined the words romantic and fantasy, Bad and man. and I don't know how they came together, but they made sense. So that's the name of the group, and that's the name of my my um, production not my production company, my. Um, publishing company. Well, let Romanticy me just say music. that one of the first songs that I played from the Romanticy mm -hmm. uh, era and mm -hmm. epic uh, was um, that beautiful song. Uh, I Long to Know You. I Long yeah. to Know mm -hmm. You. Yeah, that was my tribute to John Lucien. He gave me, I was trying to give back to him because I love his music so much. So great. And, and, and this is actually a great full circle story. Richard Cummings, who is my MD, my music director and my keyboardist and one of my closest friends, We've been working together since probably 1986, officially. Wow. Um, uh, I was touring with Harry Belafonte, and he was Harry Belafonte's music director for uh, almost 20 years. Incredible. And, and he brought in such great people. But hmm. the, the, the story that, that makes this even so much juicier to me is that Richard was also a musician who worked with John Lucien <gasps> and recorded on, this, on the Song for My Lady album. It was a song that has Gingy on it. Which, of course, I'm about to burst into tears right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. it drives me crazy. Uh, but so when, when, when Richard and I connected and I knew that he was connected to John, I was like, this is, oh, this is heaven. And then I get back and I, I'm, I'm connected to this other guy who's connected yes, to John. Yes, Buzzy and, Willis, the legendary oh, Buzzy Willis. It just, oh it, it just kind of makes your life complete Buzz. in a lot of ways. You know, the music, because <laughs> music is so important to me. So Richard. Um, like I said, we've been together for that long, and then, um, uh, but he, he didn't play in my band until the end of the 90s and on a regular basis because he was still with Harry, and he was working with Diane Reeves, and he was working with 
so many other uh, artists. And Diane actually was one of the vocalists that worked with Harry in the early days, in Is case you didn't know. Right? That's oh, yeah, so we we're didn't. all alumni, <laughs> alum, uh, alumni of ha Harry Belafonte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Including yourself. Including myself, yeah. Three, and what were you years. doing with, with, with Harry? I was a background singer with Harry. Oh, is that Toured right? with him. We, did, we toured all of Canada, all of Europe, uh, parts of Africa. It was one of the best experiences of uh, my entire career. Oh, my goodness. You performed for the royal family in Morocco? In, yes, in Morocco and also in uh, Zimbabwe. Wow. Yeah. My, and how did that happen? Well, that was all an outgrowth of the, the, um, the Moroccan trip was really an... How did they, I don't even know how it happened anymore because I, I did Morocco for like 10 years. We, put, we performed for uh, King, the first, the, not the first king, but the, the king at the time who then passed away and his son Mohammed took over. And so we did Mohammed and, or King Mohammed and his brother Rashid. Let me just say mm -hmm. that Kwame Braithwaite just had a photograph of the two of them with Muhammad Ali on exhibition at the Dwyer Cultural Center <laughs> as princes. Mm. Before, wow. Yeah, Kwame, yeah. Mm. <laughs> wow. wow. Just a sidebar. Uh -huh. And a great sidebar. <laughs> Great sidebar. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'll write that story up. I can, oh I can get long-winded. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it's all right. You, you, you're at home. It's okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, Morocco, it was an outgrowth of, oh, I know what it was. I couldn't remember what it was. I was working with a wonderful um, arranger and, and um, uh, cre uh, conductor named Danny Holgate. Okay. And Danny Holgate was the, uh, one of the black directors on Broadway in uh, shows like... Um, let me see if I make sure I get it right, Danny. Don't call me, because then I'll be <laughs> mad that I didn't get it right. But some of the black, you know, we had such a great era in the late 70s, early 80s of black theater on Broadway. And Danny was a part of that whole scene and was the conductor for many of those shows. And I'll remember which, which specific shows I can tell you in a moment when my brain clears. <laughs> but, uh, so Danny was doing the, these trips. And, and another aside, I was doing uh, cruise ships with Danny and his wife, Gail. And my my close friends, uh, Adam and Jerry Wade, we were doing cruise ships. So uh, we were doing these these overlapping gigs. So he had this this contract to do big galas for the king of Morocco, and I don't know how he got it, but he got it. And um, uh, we would go over and we would do New Year's uh, like for years in a row. We did these big splashy New Year's galas, and. Um, of course, you can you can imagine. We're talking about the king, and he <laughs> spared no expense. And we brought over entire productions. Oh goodness! And so when his when he when he pr passed away and his son took over, his son wanted more of a contemporary thing. So then we were bringing our bands over. <laughs> so he wanted you know like dance music and you know what's latest on the radio. Blah blah blah. What was the venue? Uh, what, what wasn't the venue? <laughs> we were in Rabat. We were in um, Casablanca. We were in um, uh, Marrakesh. In 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 the big. Uh, um, what are they called? I can't remember which. Um, oh man, I can't remember the name of anything at the moment. Oh, I, I, I just think of the word palace. Yeah, well, some we, were palace their, we were always in their palaces. Always in And the we palaces. were in these giant tents that were made to look like, you know, it was just amazing. <laughs> amazing. And the whole Fantasia thing with the guys and the rifles and. I oh, could go. I could no. go on, and on but I oh, won't. That's, and 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 did, Buzz and Buzz has a something that's. Did you do the Moroccan jazz festival? No, no. This was totally separate from any festival. Did you this produce was, these were the, the private no, Moroccan? No, I mean, it's so funny how this again the circle. Cool became a good friend of the sun. Oh, which one, <laughs> Rashid or the, Mohammed? Um, I, I, now that's a good question. <laughs> but the um, the gentleman who was. The president for like life nearly for Gabon, mm -hmm. okay, passed away. Mm -hmm. His son's name is Ali Bongo, mm -hmm. okay, and bon Ali went to school in California with one of the princes, okay, mm -hmm. who came back to be king. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, then that was Muhammad. Right. That must have been Muhammad. Mm -hmm. He went to school. With the, both of them went to USC. Okay. Okay. Who to thunk it? Right. Oh, oh. So now, when he came back home, him and Ali, like I said, when the father passed, Ali ran for president. Oh yeah. Ali won. Oh. And for Ali's fiftieth birthday, um, Muhammad, I, I, I believe it's Muhammad, mm -hmm. gave him a surprise party. Mm -hmm. Okay. And no, how the, let me try to get it right. But it's, a, it's a great story. Because this, all these ties. <laughs> it ties in. Right. Oh, the, um, oh, he was getting ready to give him a surprise 50th birthday party. Mm -hmm. 
Ali Bongo. Mm -hmm. Right. At that time, he's also now still like number two. The son, the father was still alive. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. When the 50th birthday party was scheduled, the father died. Oh. So they had to go into a special mourning and everything right, else. So right. the concert got called off because cool and then were coming to play. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Wow. So this is, and the, and you said Morocco, this because he, mm -hmm. he talked to him on a, on a regular basis. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. This is unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. You see? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, this is yeah. We had to find it out on your show. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, thank you. Well, it's just yeah. proof so that there privilege. are no accidents. That's it's true. You it's know? true. It all, it all has purpose. It's all there, <laughs> lined up somehow. <laughs> Yeah, and so, and I get to be in the mix somehow. You are in the mix. You mean get to be? Oh, no. You're well, part of the story. You're you part know, of the fabric of it all. It's really true. I got a call from a schoolmate of mine yesterday, and I was so happy to be able to connect with her. She mm -hmm. has a, a her master's degree in divinity now, and mm -hmm. she's beautiful. She sings and all. But when we were in high school, I was studying art. She took me to meet cool in the gang <laughs> 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 and then you know a few years later um i'm finished with school I've, i had gone to fit and i become a part of the chameleon loft you know after the black arts movement there was a loft movement mm. and in the loft they would give these events and cool and the gang would perform in the chameleon loft all the time, <laughs> along with Miri Baraka, who we presented wow. his play. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So there's a connection. Yeah, you just drew you just drew, drew up another connection, isn't it? Yeah. Because my major in school in high school was art as well. That I did see visual <laughs> art, and I said yep. no, mm -hmm. visual art. Visual art, yeah. I thought oh I was going to be a designer, uh, not a designer, a, a graphic designer, not a designer. A graphic a designer, designer, yes. Yeah, that's what I thought I was yes, going to be. Yes. But I couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> and, you know, I, I would fall asleep at easels and stuff. So it was like there was an indication that that wasn't my path. <laughs> I love that. That's, see, that is, that's the way that you honor the true self. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you don't make labels. You honor what is, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. certain, certain things fall in your lap. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and and it gives you a, 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 a really like giving you. It's just like people saying that you know, you see how <laughs> how the weather's changing and yes. and the things. God is telling us something. And Hello. Whether, whether or not we listen or That's not. That's the question. Another, another story. <laughs> that is the you question. Know, and and the, all these changes in the atmosphere and the water and you see what's going on. You know. In, in Mexico right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh uh, our yeah. hearts. The big, yeah. the the biggest storm in the history of the Western Hemisphere. Now that, now that's a statement. That yeah. is a yeah. statement. You're yeah. right. <laughs> You're right, Buzz. The, the, the most powerful storm in the, in the history of the Western Hemisphere. Oh, my goodness. This, is, this is something. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, I think that if we cannot control the weather, uh, if we cannot control what we have participated in to bring us to this place, then there must be another message about how we go on. Mm you know, in life mm -hmm. for the next 200 years, yeah, 500 years. Start. Yes. Yeah, how, do yeah. we do? how do we go yeah. on? And and it, the tie is, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> the tie is that, that we have to use something very deep and special inside of us. And this is what music is an expression of, yes. that something so deep that transcends the physical, that unites us on this spiritual level, that is just so profound. And it's a part of a language and a spirit, a feeling, a great feeling, because the, the music mm -hmm. <laughs> gives us such great feelings. Yes. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's much more than the physical. Oh, beyond. Way beyond. Yeah. Way mm -hmm. beyond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, we've got to keep our eye on that and, and be in communication with that something beyond. Yeah. Well, that, that is tantamount to us being true to ourselves. Mm. Okay, because you, you, you have to be true to yourself and, and, and put blinders on when you, it's just like him creating that album. Yes. He did never, he never detoured him. You know, he knew when the money got short, he had to 
make sure that mortgage was paid as he pointed out. He did that, but he kept on going with the album. The album was, so you, you don't say you stop, you pause. Right, okay? that's it. That's <laughs> exactly right. You pause for a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. I always told myself, I, I was, had the opportunity, fortunately, to play basketball, a fairly decent point guard. Okay. And uh, grew up right here in, in, in the village. In, uh, in the village I'm, of Harlem. Oh yeah, I'm a 145th Street boy. Uh-oh, watch right? out. <laughs> so, um, uh, and I have a you know, great deal of friends still in the area. And one of the things that um, I learned since I was a small point guard was the fact how to move laterally. And that's the one thing that happens when you play basketball. You learn how to move laterally. That's why basketball players historically become fairly decent tennis players when they retire mm. because they, they've learned how to move laterally. You, people don't realize that's a hard thing for people just to learn, to move laterally. That's right. So that's this, right. we were coached early in our lives how to move laterally mm -hmm. to guard people and everything else. So you become a good tennis player. But somehow, okay, or, be or, or better than average. Better yeah, than average, better than <laughs> average <laughs> yes. Because yes. you have that knack, you already have that knack how to go back and forth, across the court. And was pointed out to me one day that, that I should be able to be a decent tennis player. Because okay, that's another thing, like golf, they can beat you up. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so <laughs> the certain sports beat you up, okay, and you, have, you must go through. So did the, you go to the thing. tennis? Well, yeah, I play a little. Oh, yeah, play, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. But, um, now, you know, Ty does lateral movements and aerial <laughs> movements. I know. He, he, he's a, he's a, you remember now, he's a choreographer, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a choreographer. So, you know, in fact, the play that we just put on, we just had the opportunity to uh, co-produce with Jerry and Adam Wade yes. a play last weekend that he saw us in called On Kentucky Avenue. Oh, marvelous. Yeah. And, uh, it's coming back here to City yes. College. We're coming back to City College in the spring. Oh. Uh, no, in, in, uh, in uh, February. Yeah, February in for February. Black History Month. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so, so proud. Yeah. I'm yes. so excited. Me too. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We're at the top of the hour. Ah, oh, jeez. I got to do it. <laughs> WHCR 94.3 FM, New York. You know, this is a marvelous conversation, and it's all around the debut of Ty Stevens and Soul Jazz album entitled Good Medicine. And all of these thoughts that we're expressing to you and, and, and sending to you are such good medicine. And the music accompanies it so marvelously. You got a great voice, Ty. You've got a, uh, you got all the right moves. You dance <laughs> magically, and that was, I mean, first there's visual arts, mm -hmm. then there was dance, right. and then was the voice, right. Right. you know, and then the band. It's mm -hmm. just like really, really so special. Which which track should I go to now? Um. Number three. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love it. An honor and a privilege. And I'm going to get somebody special on the phone while we listen to this. Now, set us up. What's this all about? Well, this is a song that we have released as one of our singles. It's called Ain't Just Something. Mm. And um, mm. it's an, I, I have a bit of a throwback thing that, that you know, I, I go back to what, where, where music touched me the deepest, which was in the 70s when I was growing up. And um, uh, this song has that kind of a throwback feel. Um, it, it's got a little spinners in it. It's got a little oil green in it. It's got, uh, well, you'll hear it and you'll make the determination for yourself, but that's where we will begin with that idea. It's called Ain't You Something. It's a love song. Um, just think about where you might want to be, you know, some nice, warm, sunny place. <laughs> <laughs> I feel healed already. <laughs>
<laughs> you it's so early to me You got me saying my Ain't you something My, my, my Really something My, 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 my You do, you do, you do something to me Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Baby, what you do to me? Here's my little throwback. <laughs> Could it be I'm falling in love? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's a tribute to, right? That is. This, this Ty Stevens all over with this new release. I can't tell you. Good, good medicine. Ty Stevens in Soul and the Soul Jazz. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I've got Buzz Willis. All Access Entertainment, partners with Cool Bell, Robert Cool Bell. I mean, I'm just in heaven here. <laughs> and Mr. Norman Connors on the line. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. And say good morning to Buzz and to Ty. Good morning, Mr. Connors. Hey, good morning. Pleasure. It's a pleasure. Hello, Mr. Connor. Pull that mic up. Good morning. <laughs> How have you been, sir? Oh, I've been busy. Busy city tour. Hey, man, yeah, you know, that's yeah. always a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, but we're playing New York, New York tonight. Buzz, I want you to come through at the Red Rooster. Uh, okay. Am I, am, am I your guest? <laughs> of course. That's a good of question. Right? That's a good question. <laughs> How can you say no on, on yeah. the air? <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. No. Are you my guest? Uh, <laughs> what, what if he said no, Buzz? <laughs> no. no, Norman and I go back to sharing sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> so, is that so, right? I love that sharing yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, you know, we, that's how we, you we, make we, real friends. Oh, right. Yeah. We, we go way, way back. Oh, that's absolutely fabulous. I got I to gotta play one of the songs. We were talking about John Lucien and how Buzz signed John Lucien and how inspired by John Ty Stevens was and has been and is. And, uh, you know, Ty's got a, such a beautiful voice and such wonderful remembrances. And we remember with such great fondness, one young lady who, uh, who we worked with you, Norman, who mm. we loved with all of our heart, her singing, her voice, mm -hmm. her intentions, from uh, originally from Doug and Gene Carn. There is Gene Carn with Norman Connors mm -hmm. in this particular mm -hmm. song. And Ginger of all songs. Of all songs. <laughs> so fast. In the sky, and you, you, you can sing. <laughs> no, I'm a the singer. Oh, yeah. mm. Chills, chills, Just chills.
Oh, my goodness gracious. I've just been filled with so much beautiful music and inspiration. And you being at the Red Rooster in New York is so special to us uh, tonight. Mm. How about that? Tonight. <laughs> yeah, tonight. What time tonight? Uh, two shows, one at 7.30 and one at 9.30, more like 10, really. Okay. Second show. Okay, uh, all right. And what, what time are you going, Buzz? <laughs> yeah, I, I've got to go regroup now. Yeah, I hear you. I know <laughs> that's right. This day now. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. all we all have to re regroup. No, it's okay. You can you oh, can okay. say all it's all right. right. As long I I just didn't want you to I'll be off camera. Yeah, to be, I'll be right here. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't want to cut off your nose. <laughs> We're streaming live all over the world at whcr. Dot org, and I've got Mr. Norman Connors on the phone. Mm. I've got Ty Stevens in the studio, my guest host this morning. And our very, very special guest, Buzz Willis, yes. the legend. Yay. <laughs> Yay <bro. laughs> oh, Can I goodness. take a second to just say thank you to Norman Connors? Oh, please. Uh, we, actually, we have been in each other's company once or twice, and I think you even were at one of my shows somewhere, but that's not even the point. The point is, I want to say thank you just for the music that you brought me. I'm taking, taking this very personally. Uh, and the people that you've brought to me. And we have a mutual friend in Phyllis Hyman. I was on Broadway with her back in, uh, during the Sophisticated Ladies' Years. And um, just what a blessing, the, the, the voices that you brought, Ada Dyer and... and, uh, and, uh, and um, uh, Eleanor, ooh, Eleanor Mills. Mills, and I definitely got to shout out Eleanor because Eleanor, we were just talking on, on uh, the text yesterday, so <laughs> I got to better shout her out. So, I mean, just what great voices and what great people you've worked with, and thank you and bless you for that. Uh, you, you have Eleanor Mills' telephone number? I do indeed. Oh, please give it, please <laughs> give it to me. Okay, I will. <laughs> I'll do that. I, lo I, I lost the number. I got out of touch with her. I, okay. I want to invite her to the show tonight. Okay, great, great. I'll do that. I'll, I'll make sure you have it. 
Okay. <laughs> that, that's a that's a nice collect connection. And, I and, really and, like and that. And out of my women, you left uh, Dee Bridgewater out. Oh, I'm so sorry. How can I do that? Yeah, Dee. Well, we, we can't. Oh, yeah. We can't leave Dee Dee. You have an ear for it. Yes, he had a great and ear. And Michael Henderson. And Michael Henderson. And Ada Reefa. Glenn Jones. Ada. 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 Glenn Jones. Ada. Yeah, that's my Ada girl. Diet, Ada Diet, Norman oh. Brown. That's right. Yes. Marion Meadows. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. And on and on. Angela Bofield. Yeah, oh, Angela. Angela. Another one of my yes. favorites. Yes. Yeah. Go on down the list, yeah, Norman. Got, yeah, come on. Keep listening. Because <laughs> <laughs> I need that education, too. I, I wasn't even aware of how well, many of the others well, were well, oh, connected. My new singer, and, uh uh, Theonita Valentin. Okay. And she's fabulous. I Gotta saw her, her on the stage in mm -hmm. Brooklyn at the festival. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Okay. Is this the young lady out of Chicago, Norman? Uh, Theonita Valentin, she, she's originally from Virginia, but she lives in Tampa, Florida. Okay. Oh, okay. Because okay. I, I, I knew you were and, working and, with somebody. And guesting with us tonight is uh, we have another singer who played, who sung with Prince and Lionel Richie. Her name is Marva King. She's Marva here. Today. Oh my okay. goodness! It's beautiful. This is going to be so beautiful, oh, so marvelous. Man. See, I'm working tonight. I can't even be there. Isn't that something? I'm not happy about that. Oh. I'm happy that I'm working, <laughs> but I'm not happy that I can't be there. Let's listen to Didi for just a second. Yes. From the sun. Marvelous, marvelous Norman Connors. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. God. Mm. I just it was looking at her. She was just sitting up there. <laughs> and so the guy made sure he could sit next, sit down next to her. Is that, is that a Dee Dee Bridgewater story? <laughs> yeah, that's Dee Dee Bridgewater's Love from the Sun. That man. was my third album. Oh, man. That was God. my third album out when I was on Buddha Records. Ooh, Brilliant. Buddha. Brilliant. Wow. My goodness. Mm. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And then something else I discovered, Dance, Dance of Magic. That was my first album. That was my first album that I recorded. Then, and that was my first the, some of the album. Some of the folks on that album, Cecil McBee mm. and um, Eddie Stanley Henderson, Clark, Stanley Herbie Clark, Hancock, Herbie Hancock, uh -huh. <laughs> Eddie Henderson, Eddie Henderson, <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Garnett, yeah, Ayerto, Ayerto. Uh, Oh man, it was just so many people on that album. Oh, Gary Bartz. Oh, my, oh, one of my favorites. Brother, brother Bartz out. That's right. Let's not leave Brother uh -huh. Bartz out. And thank you to Masood Tariq Tao for taking me to the Jazz Standard to see Gary Bartz and Larry Willis. <laughs> oh wow. Oh yeah, that was that was just marvelous. The, and and to to know Dance of Magic and the fabulous song called Blue. Yeah, that was Stanley Clark's song. Mm. Oh yeah, did he write that? Mm, mm, yeah, mm. that that was his first uh, first song that that he got out on it, it, you know got out on 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 records. Oh, CD. it's just oh, just fabulous on records back then, back in those days. Ooh, let me tell you, um, 
that. So you know, we 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 this is this is going to be great tonight at the Red Rooster. Okay, and we we're, we're so happy that you're in New York doing this. And Ty is working. Where are you working tonight, Ty? Actually, I'm doing a benefit for MMRFI with one of the bands that I've worked with over mm-hmm. the years. It's a, a an event band, a party band, and um, it's a cancer benefit program. And That's it's great. And we I don't know who's on there this year, but there was always a big celebrity. We've had Neo, we've had uh, uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, we've had Stevie. Uh, so it's always some name that's hugely recognizable that we get to party alongside. And you opened for all of these people for us. Yeah, with my own band, Soul Jazz. I've yeah. opened for Stevie Wonder, for, um, oh my God, Dinah Ross. Uh, I'm naming all the black names all of a sudden. <laughs> Name <laughs> but, everybody. But uh, uh, well, it includes Steely Dan and, and uh, Tony Bennett, and um, oh my God, Carlos Santana. I'm so many. Uh, every summer for six years, I was the uh, opening band at the Sporting Club in Monte Carlo, and uh, so we got to open for the entire season. Mm-hmm. So anybody who came through there, we were the first ones on the stage. We'd warm the stage up for them, and uh, get to watch them and enjoy them after for free. Love that part. <laughs> <laughs> Love that part. I got lots of free concerts. Oh, man. You know, oh, Lenny Kravitz and yes. Prince and everybody. And Prince. Yeah. The yeah. Prince? The mm-hmm. Prince? The Prince. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Gracious. That's, that's some heavy creds, Norman. Yeah. <laughs> you know. A lot, of, a lot of royalty there. Yes, yeah. a lot of royalty there. <laughs> You know, and Buzz is 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 produced so much of it with his RCA history. We when when Buzz comes back to the gardens of tranquility and contemplation to visit us, we have got so much to talk about. <laughs> you know, well, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm glad uh, I'm glad uh, we're doing this interview because I haven't I I, I didn't even have, I, I lost the number on Buzz. I don't mm-hmm. have his right number now. Oh. And uh, so he he gets I, y'all get to don't connect. Don't feel right me me not having his number and I haven't been talking with. Him. Oh so, my goodness! See how it works though. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't like it's that. working. Yeah, that's yes. that's mutual, Norman. I I miss you too. Oh, okay. so, so sweet. Far, make sure make sure you come tonight, man. Okay, I'm gonna try my darndest. I really am. Oh okay. y'all, you try. Really yeah, well, no, 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 oh no, man, no. trouble has no, trouble's no, brewing. The only way. We, I'm no. not from that school, try. No, no, we we know better. No, it was, it was dope. <laughs> okay, but uh, you know, you know, I most likely would be coming to the last show. Try. Yeah, no, I ain't going for that, man. No, no, and I don't blame you. With only is that I have I have some people in town. And, and bring them, bring them with you. Okay, well, I I, I, I didn't want to mess bring up. Bring them with you, bud. I, I didn't want to mess. We ain't up. going for that, man. I, I, bring the people with you. I didn't want to mess up your head count. <laughs> you know, say, listen, this is family. You know? No, I, I, oh, no, no, I don't believe family. in that. Bring them with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bring everybody. Isn't yeah. that something? Love it. Love it. Yeah. And th- there's, there's a very special song that um, reflects all of our uh, deep sense of mission, Norman, that comes from the work that you were doing very early the the work of artists like uh, Pharaoh Saunders, mm. um, the, I mean all of the work going John Coltrane, everything that set a particular stage for us to understand who we we are from a cosmic perspective, from a higher conscious perspective, uh, and and Ty has this song that touches people no matter what language they speak that that I want you to hear. Okay. So, so I'm going to play this for you. And please forgive Norman's background. He's he's at the airport picking oh. up his singer. Oh, oh. no problem at all. No problem oh, at here all. we go. Yeah. in your eyes found in your smile happy you said you'll stay for a while forever would be not long enough lost in our dreams found in our love I lost track of time did time move at all found in your
your touch so easy to fall the sound of your sigh the touch of your hand falling so fast a safe place to land Isn't that something, Norman? Oh, oh my God. Oh. Who wrote that? <laughs> I, I, I wrote it. <laughs> he writes the best that songs. Is Thank isn't you so that, much. Isn't that stunning? I mean, it's got, you know, it's got that Michael Jackson thing with the <laughs> choir going on in it. And it's and it, 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 his, his lyrics always convey something that uplifts the spirit, Norman. It, 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 it uplifts our lives it gives us a sense of hope and it you, you just get tingles right on down your spine it's like, 
So I'm so so glad I got a chance to play that for you really today. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, oh, that's really special. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I heard that. that that's gonna really put me in the in the right mood tonight. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's right. You in the right time in the universe, Norman Connors. <laughs> so 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 where, so where can I get that that piece from? Where can uh, I get that at? You can get it directly from me. It'll be my gift to you. I, oh, I, man, I'll send gorgeous. one with Buzz tonight if he can, if he can make it. Is, is that recorded? Uh, uh, is it out on the market? Or? Yeah, that's, yeah, from, this that's is, from the new CD, Good Medicine. And we're debuting it here in the gardens today. And, and, the, that, and the CD... That, that sound like a song. You got any more songs like that? Um, there's a lot of songs similar, but not not quite. It has a uniqueness to it on the on the album package. Yes. But the writing is fairly consistent in terms of the style and the and the um, and the lyrics. Uh, Powerful. You Powerful. like the like, album, Norman. I like to Trust get me. something like that. You yeah. like the album. Yeah, you're going to like that I like to record album. that song. Oh, well, then oh, be my way. guest. <laughs> <laughs> be my guest. That's my kind of song. Oh, oh great. that's beautiful. Great. Beautiful. Oh, boy. We're doing stuff here yeah. in the gardens of tranquility mm -hmm. and contemplation this morning. Yeah. I like that. Thank you, Norman. That I'm, I've got goose pimples. <laughs> <It's Yeah. gracious. laughs> I did, too. Yeah, yeah, great, for sure. Great. Yeah, no, it's wow. a it's a special song. It really is. And now with this debut release of Good Medicine, it takes uh, it takes a stage that it is supposed to have with um, the sound of a choir. You know, the, the sound just positioning it in such a way it's, it's it's extraordinary. But the whole album is good, man. I'm telling you. And the title track, Good Medicine, baby. <laughs> I think you'll like that one too, Norman. Yeah. As a yeah. matter of fact, well, if you if you feel compelled, well, well, you know, let me know. You got to it. Show tonight, right? I'm not going to be able to make it, but if Buzz he's, makes it, I'll send him a I'll send a copy with the yeah. album of the album with you. With and him. tomorrow morning he's leaving for Korea. Yeah, the you band know. and I are going. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. we're leaving well, Korea in well, the morning. Please, Norman. I want to get that out. No, I can't make it. Before you, before you go. Say that again. I'm sorry. He said he wants to get that album before you. Oh, go. oh, absolutely, absolutely. So, are you so going to the, to, to the show tonight? I am. You are? Yes. I'll send it with you just in case, Buzz. That because okay. Buzz is so busy. Because Buzz, Buzz yeah. has got uh, yeah. other commitments. He's got some busyness going. Yeah. Some buzz, yeah. some busyness some going busyness on. Some busyness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll make sure. Um, Norman. Yeah. I'll make sure you get it. Okay, you bring it. Okay, I bring, bring it. it. Absolutely, and and I'm going to okay. strive to bring Buzz too. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is such a special it's morning. Brilliant, brilliant. You guys are so magnificent. Oh, Lord, have Thank mercy. Oh, boy, you. what a blessing indeed. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we, we're doing doing good things, doing mm -hmm. good things. I That love from the sun, <laughs> heavens, I do remember it faintly somewhere, you know, when it came out. But for heaven's sake, just hearing it. There's a timelessness. Oh, absolutely. It, you know, and the so profound. And yeah. and then I found out that Dee Dee Bridgewater sounds like Sarah Vaughan. Oh, well, mm -hmm. that's one of her big influences. In case you didn't know, I that's didn't why, know. That's why I started working with her. Uh -huh. I heard the Sarah Vaughan in her. Yes, uh -huh. I heard uh -huh. it too. She was singing at the Village Vanguard like one song with the bad Mel Lewis, bad Jones, uh, uh -huh. big band. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and just one song and. That one song, I said, "Wow, that's Sarah Vaughan." That's all it took. Oh, right? A young Sarah Vaughan. A young Sarah Vaughan. Mm -hmm. And 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 now today we have the Sarah Vaughan competition. So, right, that's right. And people, uh, you know, they're hard pressed to come close. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. That's, those are some yeah. shoes to fill. Those are. I won't say big shoes. I just say <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I was going to say something when you were t you were introducing one of the songs. I think it was "Love to the Sun," and you were setting it up with Farrah Saunders and all that stuff. And all I thought you were going to play. Farrah Saunders with Phyllis and Norman singing Everything I Have Is You. That's I'll, one of my I'll, favorite I'll cuts, Norman. I'll find it. I'll find it. <laughs> yeah. That is one of my favorite cuts. And what's the name oh. of it again? I think it's, is it called Everything I Have Is You? Every, everything, everything I Have Is Good. Is Good. Yeah, it's on, it's on Everything I Have Is Good. Oh, he's singing it. Go, Go ahead, ahead Norman. Everything I Have Is Good. Go I on, adore sing, baby. that cut. I adore that cut. Everything I <laughs> Yeah. Good. He and Phyllis just do a beautiful job on that. Oh my And of course, Mr. Sanders himself. Oh, and it's on Fa it's on Pharaoh's album as well. Yeah, that's the that's the album I have for Oh, me. gee whiz. Pharaoh Sanders, Phyllis Hyman, 
and Norman Connors. And Norman Connors on the phone in the Gardens of Tranquility. What an honor. <laughs> <laughs> too deep. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh boy, what joy. Buzz, this is a special day. <laughs> I'm counting this I'm counting this on a lot of things with this. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 So any yeah. So Very, anyway, yes sir. All you beautiful people, I'm gonna have to leave. Okay. And uh, it, you made my morning. Oh, I'm so happy. You so definitely happy. made mine. Good to talk to you, <laughs> Norm. Yeah. And I see, I'll, I'll see everybody later. All, All right. right. Indeed. Okay. You take care of yourself. Yes. All right now. Peace and blessings. Right. Great show tonight. Peace and love. That's right. Peace and love. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that sweet? Oh, man. Ain't that something? <laughs> <laughs> Plug. Sure, sure is. Shameless sure plug. Is. <laughs> <laughs>so sweetly speaks to positive thought mm -hmm. you know affirming that the source has everything good for us and out of all of our experiences comes something good yes. just turn our face to the sun to mm -hmm. the good to mm -hmm. the light mm -hmm. you know and and uh, that's it's it's the core of us it is the the fundamental meaning of us and it's expressed so well in your lyrics, mm. you know, yeah. absolutely, in all of your music. Yeah. It's born out of this, it's born out of this stuff. It really is. It's yeah. Powerful. Very powerful. Just listening to Phyllis and just like. I know, I know. Just losing it. Absolutely. Tell me about Phyllis. Well, we were on Broadway together for two years in Sophisticated Ladies back in the 80s, the uh, original broad Broadway cast. And um, Phyllis, I think I might have said it on the last show, Phyllis was my mentor in terms of singing. Um, I had been a dancer up to that point. I'd sung, you know, but I didn't sing as a singer. You know, I knew that I had a voice. I knew that I could sing. But I never had thought of, of really going further until we were in the show. Of course, in a Broadway shows, you have to dance and sing and, and whatever else you need to do. And um, so um, she heard me and she saw me and she you know, dragged me and a couple of the others of us out to clubs where she was performing and she would push us up on the stage and you know she 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 really was like mama mama hen and just pushed the chicks up on the stage and we sang and and um, she you know she really helped shape what I do and I was going to say too specifically about her sound is the clarity 
and the notes. You can hear the notes. You can hear the you can hear it being played on the piano. It's so clear. Her, you know her her attack and her her tonality is just so on target. John Lucien, same thing. And these are the people that I studied from. And um, I actually studied uh, unofficially. I've studied from recordings and radio. That's those were That's my teachers. That's astonishing. And uh, officially, I studied with one one time. I studied with an opera coach. Believe it or not. I believe it. And <laughs> I had three lessons with him. He was a working artist, so he we didn't have a lot of time together. But the three sessions that I had, he told me that I had learned what I had learned very well. I learned t tonation. I learned breathing. And I learned, uh, my placement was the only thing that he felt was a little off. I was singing in the back of my head. And if anybody knows anything about singing, when you're singing along with the recordings, you tend to want to sound, you want to blend in with their sound. So you place it in your body in a different place that you would if you were singing on a microphone in a, in, on a stage. And it's got a more closed sound. So you want to be able to hear the person you're singing with as if you were them. That's what we tend to do. So... Um, so uh, that was my only issue that he found. But I studied with Stevie, John Lucien, uh, you know, Jeffrey Osborne later on, and, and uh, uh, Sarah Vaughan, and, and Chaka Khan, and, and, and Donny Hathaway. Like, I got to put him on the top of the list. Absolutely, Donny. You know, those are people I studied with, and, and he said, and I was pleased to hear that I had studied well and learned the best of it all, mm -hmm. you know, in, in terms of phrasing and breathing and, 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 uh, and uh, tonality. And, and tonality was really important to me. What is on Romanticy? What is that Johnny song? More Than You'll Ever Know. Oh. Yeah, I, I re recorded his tune, more, I Love You More Than You'll Ever Know. And um, it's funny because uh, when I put that out, Tony Terry had recorded it at the same time. Really? Didn't know that. And we, we were on the same bill. <laughs> and when, he, when I found out he was on the bill, I was like, okay, we're not going to do that song. <laughs> you know? So it was cool. I, I let him have it. And, but then on the later set, somebody asked me to do it, do so it, we do did it anyway. Did anyway. It was kind of weird, but uh, Tony's cool, and we, we 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 got along pretty well on that gig. Uh, now, which one is it? It's number eight. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So Donnie, it, definitely one of my biggest influences. influences. One of my one of my biggest teachers. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. And this is this is the lesson that you learned. <laughs> it's one of the few cover tunes I've done. Mm -hmm. It's one of the few cover tunes I've done. Mm -hmm. I think I've just, out of my four hands, that's it. Mm -hmm. I think I Hit those for me. The all of mm -hmm. Oh, the yellow. Oh, the yellow. myself as well Is that any way for a man to carry on Do you think I want my loved one gone Said I love you More than you ever know Check when you know I brought it on home to you, baby, and I never know spinner it Hey, is that any way for a man to carry on? Carry on. Do you think I? Now listen, 
Magnificent. Yeah. That's Ty Stevens. Thank you. And the Soul Jazz. Yeah, Woo! thank you so much. Shivers, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, yeah. Now we got a little shouting out to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had, we were talking about the band earlier, and I only got to one person, and I, I know that I will not live it down since we're leaving for Korea tomorrow morning. I will see them at the airport. And Ron Monroe is my bassist, a beautiful, beautiful guy. Beautiful. He's a fellow Aquarian. Oh. His birthday's the day before mine, by the way. Oh, wow. And uh, um, uh, Tony Lewis is my drummer. Oh, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant yes, artist. Tony. Great personality. He adds so much. They both, They all do, but... He has this uh, this touch and this this feel that just mm. I can't do without. And then R.T. Taylor, Robert Taylor Sr. is my guitarist. Oh. And uh, he is uh, a brilliant artist in his own right, but he has also uh, birthed an, an amazing artist in his son. 
his son's name is Shea Taylor, and he is uh, one of the producers for Beyonce. Really? And um, um, Neo. Uh, yeah, he's worked with a lot of artists out in L.A. And uh, give him a shout out too. He was a, a, a major, major part of some of our music too on, on our recordings. Oh, that's just absolutely Great fabulous. Saxophonist. Oh, that's absolutely yeah. marvelous. I'm yeah. just so excited and so impressed. You know. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll backtrack to Richard. I, I mentioned Richard about, with Harry Belafonte, but Richard Cummings Jr. is my music director. Oh, and, and you all have done play. such a Ty Stevens and the Soul Jazz yeah. Band, and their new release, Good Medicine. Just it just feels so right. It it feels so good, and, feels and the so voice, good. you know. Title. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, <laughs> <laughs> the opening track. <laughs> you can't lose. Yeah. And then we we wanted to say something. Buzz wanted to say something. Oh yeah. We were we we were just all in the the mix of a, a beautiful commentary and thought and feeling. And we'll find it again. Because it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> great, great cue. A great guitar. That's R.T. Taylor. Whoa! I am one with perfect mind In my heart and in my soul Everything is now aligned Every morning, last thing every night, I show my appreciation for the love, the peace, the light. Sitting in my silence, my sacred time of day, I breathe an affirmation and silently I say, I am one with perfect mind in my heart and in my soul. Everything is now alive. Number three, no, number four. Mm -mm. P push up the pot. Oh. Yeah, a little higher. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Little high, say little when, higher. say when, say when, say when. There, when. Is that good? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Nelson. Hi, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. This is Ty Stevens. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Nice to how meet you. Are you? 
Pleasure. And this is Buzz Willis. That's my brother over there, yeah, Nelson Thank you. Radames yeah. Rodriguez. Wow. Yeah. Nice to meet you. That sounds good, brother. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so this much. is from oh, his, yeah. his new release called right. Good Medicine. Hey, good luck with that release. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, isn't that beautiful, magnificent, and feels so good? Th see, Nelson is a meditator. Ah. Yes. Uh huh. And, you know, we often connect on the 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 uh, vibration of serenity mm -hmm. and you know tranquility mm -hmm. and peace yeah. and music the language of music yes you know so there Ty is writing these things and singing them all around the world mm -hmm. you know so we need that definitely need it totally agree yes <laughs> <laughs> that is that's absolutely absolutely and completely and Ty, I can't thank you. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. It was a <laughs> pleasure, a gift. Yeah. To start my day off this way, for one. Oh. And with in such such regal, spiritual presence, it's just amazing to me. Oh, so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Helen Buzz. Thank you for yeah. you know getting up this morning, coming and being here with us, being a part of this. Right when here. I saw you, I felt like family. I recognized you at Trumpets, and I don't know what it was, but it was real. <laughs> and when I met Ty for the first time, you know, your willingness to come mm. from Montclair to come here. Not a problem. You know, and to bring <laughs> such gifts. These gifts, musical gifts, and gifts of spirit, Nelson. Yes, that's the most important part. Absolutely. It is the most. Although they, they're both important, but, you know, I mean, the spirituals. That's what we're here for. Yeah, that's where that's, we start from. That's what the we rest is gravy. <laughs> <laughs> and Ty always he says he says thank you. So you know, thank you to oh. everyone. <laughs> thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank, thank, thank you, Dad. Thank, thank you, Dad. Thank, thank you, baby. Brothers and sisters, thank <laughs> you, baby. Yeah. Thank them all. <laughs> it it really makes me feel so humble. So and I thank you. My pleasure, thank you. Sometimes I think you believe in me more than I do. I probably shouldn't ask. But what can I do for you? A helping hand, a rock on which I stand. You see a way in the world when I don't have a clue. Maybe I should know. so hard so that I succeed, yeah.
Are we back? Oh, okay. I want to give a, a wonderful shout out to Dollars Make Sense. Thank you for, for your beautiful affirmations and for supporting the music that Daia plays here on this amazing format. Oh, that's so wonderful. And Ty's music especially. And, 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 and our audience, the people who are in our chat living room, which Nelson is getting ready to join, are, lo are loving this music. This little break right here, yeah. Mm. <laughs> 32 Mustafa K thank you for watching dollars make sense thank you oh, oh that's so sweet and everybody DD Pa and uh, all of you folks uh, Anna Jones 3031 uh, uh, I am Savannah I bet you're in Savannah too you know what I mean uh, oh, Ethan, Ethan W S E N W, I think, so. I think yes. it says. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I'm so glad that you guys are are there and stay tuned, stay in because you know Nelson has the best Latin jazz in oh, the world. Baby, I'm feeling it already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my family. Yeah.